Welcome to the Balls Not Court Podcast. Cortez Paul is here. Kevin Carter. What's up, buddy? What's up? You did a wonderful job. I listened to the podcast with you and Johnny. Thank you. Had so many downloads. Yeah, it was crazy. I want to thank everybody for listening to it, too. I know a lot of it came off the, uh, the Jaguar board off of uh, Facebook, but it had a lot of positive feedback and a lot of downloads, which was surprising. Good <laughs> yeah, well. It's always interesting whenever you see people talk about something that they like, they will tune in at least give you a shot to see what you're talking about and hear your opinions compared to theirs. So, once again, though, it's like a fun project, and I commend you and Mr. Malone on that. Y'all did a wonderful job. It'll get done again probably around draft time, and then it'll get done again. And then I think uh, I think you and Zach should probably do a all oh, Bronco Broncos talk. one, yeah, and put that on the Broncos one, and then we'll have John on. And I'll at least do a little Tampa talk with John and let him let him go off. That way we expand to different things. It's always always good to expand out a little bit. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I do definitely share this podcast and some of the magic form too, so I know we don't talk much magic, but when I do talk about it, at least I'm like, hey, here's a topic where I talk about the magic. So the bad part is we could do too. just a magic thing because I know enough about them. <laughs> I know you. You're uh, sitting there and forced to watch the games when I have them on. My here, eyes. So. <laughs> so. My eyes. Oh, speaking of that, on Tuesday night, you did stop one of my shows so you could watch a basketball game. What show did I so stop? So Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. did not get taped. It didn't get taped? Because of your bat. Two minutes of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. got taped. I'm sitting there getting ready to watch it, and I'm like, why did it stop after two minutes? And then I was like, never mind. I, I know why. I figure why. I figured it out. Because I remembered on Tuesday night we were watching <laughs> basketball. My apologies, sir. And on Wednesday night we were watching basketball. Basketball. <laughs> and now we're watching more basketball because the March Madness has resumed. Hey, good segue. I'm about to say, about to say good segue hey, good there. Good segue. We're, we're talking basketball. Good segue. So we're, we're going to talk a little bit about March Madness and everything like that is been one lived up to its name so far. So far it's been crazy and I want to get your your first thoughts on the first round so far. It was one of the best it was one of the best opening days, not just the first two days, but the best opening day I've ever seen. I because I watched most of the games on opening day. It was it was crazy. The amount of upsets on opening day. Not the Friday not as, as much, but opening day it was it was crazy. Especially being around a city that's actually hosting some of the games. It, it, it's been nuts. Yeah, my thoughts about it is I'm watching as much as I can at work because we were able to stream it a little bit. And <laughs> there, there were just Jesus. so much chaos going on with this. And this is the first one I know for sure. You always have some uncertainty where to go. But this year I was, I was a little bit like, I don't really know where to go with some of these. Like, I had to really think for a minute or so when I started doing my bracket, should I switch back? Should I do that? And I was doing this more often than not this time around. So it, it was a little frustrating trying to follow this bracket. And Yeah, even was, thinking for a minute, <laughs> you still. <laughs> exactly. So you was probably, at best, to probably just flip a coin and just go heads and tails on some of these and, and let that go because you just your best trying to do this. But it's, it's been a fantastic first day. No 12-5. No 12-5 upsets this year, but a lot of 14 beating beating threes and 13 beating fours. And yeah. I think there was even a two got knocked out, if I wasn't mistaken. I may be wrong. I think all the two survived. Yeah, yeah all really the two survived. survived. But yeah. the threes and the fours, they were they were in more poop than anybody. Right. Baylor gone. Iowa State gone, which a lot of people had going a long ways in their brackets did Ohio, Iowa State, but... Nope. Uh-uh. <laughs> so, let's talk about some of these upsets because there there was the Iowa State. They played University of UAB. UAB, UAB uh-uh. And that score was 59-60. to 60. Then on the flip side, Georgia State, right? Georgia State. Georgia Small State. college in Atlanta. In Atlanta. You learned, you learned that after after driving people around that <laughs> were going, they, going to watch that game. They beat Baylor 56-57, so... I mean, what was your, what was your, I'll get your opinion. What was your biggest upset? That was my favorite one. That was your favorite The Georgia one. State over Baylor. Because I sat there and watched that whole game. And after interacting with a lot of their, their fans for, for Georgia State, 
and a lot of people that were going down to the game. I sat there and watched it. And you felt good for the fans. So this is a little bitty school in Atlanta. They're on one side of Atlanta. Georgia Tech's on the other side of Atlanta. And it, it was pretty cool to see. The best part was watching the coach who tore his Achilles celebrating the uh, the conference championship, sitting on the stool the whole time, trying to coach from the stool and watching him slide up and down the sidelines <laughs> in the stool and watching his hot uh, rehab person standing behind him the whole time. But she was she was hot. <laughs> but watching her sit there and reacting to every single thing he's doing, and then his son hitting the game winner. And him falling off the stool in a celebration because he couldn't stand up. It was it all just added to be a really fun moment, and that that, that was a fun game to watch. Yeah, for me, I, I'm gonna go with and him falling off the stool. Yeah. is still the best part. The best thing of this thing so far has been him falling off the stool. <laughs> <laughs> That's been, I think, the most shown clip out of this stuff with dude just going ah! boom right over. Right. Yo, for me, I, I'm gonna have to go with the UAB that because I did watch a little bit of that. I was just impressed at how they held up against this powerhouse that many people was paying to go at least to the final four. And but them, they seemed like they was making shots. It, it seemed like it was just their day. Then it got down to the wire and they ended up pulling it out. So for me, I was very impressed with that. I did like the the, the after the game speech that George State coach had with his team, and you can tell he just a very genuine country guy. Yeah. And you just, you root for teams like this because, well, you know UAB, the whole football team now is not, not going to be there anymore. Yeah, they, they they done away with their football. So, that I mean, this was a good pick-me-up for the school in terms of that. Mm, not so much now. Yeah, not so much now because, as you see, they, they, got they, they got beat by UCLA. Oh, they got whooped. But <laughs> even, even UCLA had a little scare. Oh, yeah. Um, well, SMU, UCLA shouldn't have had the scare because they were the underdogs. So, they right. gave, they get which we're, we're not even going to discuss. Well, uh, we're, we're going to talk about that one, but UCLA shouldn't even been in this game. Yeah. Yeah. We'll discuss that. Yeah. They, they <laughs> shouldn't even been here. I will. I mean. No, 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 no. <laughs> well, you, you did the bracket, and do you remember your final four? I think my final four was, you no know, Kentucky, uh, Kentucky, Arizona, uh, I want to say Duke. I had Duke and Virginia. Yeah. Duke and Virginia. And my final game was Virginia against um, Arizona, with yeah. Arizona winning. With Arizona winning the championship. All right. Well, I I, I think did. that's what I had. <laughs> like that's, I I'm pretty that. sure that's what I had. That's pretty sure what you had, right? I'm pretty sure. All right. Well, I had two brackets. I had a pay bracket that I'm doing for my job. You know, five bucks was just all a loss right now. So, I mean, no gain there. But anyways, in one bracket, I got ESPN. I got Kentucky, Ohio State, Villanova, and Georgetown. In my, in my other bracket, what I have as far as that, I got Kentucky, Villanova, North Carolina, and Duke in one of them. Oh. So, I took a lot of risks there. And a, lot of risk so, yeah, a lot of risks. Yeah, a lot of risks. That's a lot of risks. But I just feel like this tournament has been unpredictable, at least on the first day. The second day has kind of went to, to, to there. To me, I, I just, and I know me and Kevin had this discussion off air. I, I just, I'm in love with a kid that Andrew Russell's game. And I feel like it's, you have that one guy that can get high in a hurry. Dude can shoot out this world. And he, I mean, you, if you saw the behind-the-back crossover he had, I mean, to tell you how he's good with the ball. So, I mean, I always feel like there's one guy that can get Yeah, that was a nice move. That, that's the guy I'm kind of banking on that, well, he can lead his team here and do some miraculous things that make you go, wow, that's 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 unheard of. But it's it's that's why I kind of went with Ohio State in one bracket. And so I'm, I, I like Villanova. Villanova. I'm still wondering why the hell Georgetown's on here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, I, I watched Georgetown there. They don't have – I watched them play Florida earlier in the year, and they played just slow, sloppy, methodical basketball. Mm-hmm. And it, to me, they didn't, it don't come across it. I may be wrong. They may get hot. I, I, I don't know, but I, I, I can't go with Georgetown in, See, in nothing. I, I'm, not, I'm not Georgetown's faithful. The reason that I, I went with Georgetown this one here 
is that I know, and I know Duke is no more in seed. I think Georgetown can beat Utah, but in my opinion, I just think Duke is always good for falling short the last few years. And I'm, the only reason that I think they will be able to make it to the Final Four now, if they do, is now they got a big man with a nice point guard that can play off the free. ball. So that's why I say they they Duke has scared me last few that I don't know if I pick them. They, oh, Duke fell ball. real short. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So that's why I say a it scares line. me. And but Georgetown on the other hand too has been falling real short either. So oh, they like, they fall they fall way short all they've been falling way short all year. So it's more of a risk thing where I was like, okay, maybe we can Georgetown get hot. You just went like this. <laughs> no, I did not cover my face. Yeah, he covered face. his eyes and just started clicking. So, but yeah, I mean, that's that's how I went with it there. So, who knows? We'll, we'll see. We, we got a few more games coming on tonight. We'll see. We yeah, have more of an understanding. Kentucky. Yeah, so we have a few more that we can actually understand here. So, that's how my Final Four is looking like for now and a few of them, but... Um, any player that you are keeping an eye on in the tournament? Not really. Not really? No. I'm just watching it to have fun. Just have fun? Yeah, I'm watching it to just be like, oh, look. Because <laughs> I, I don't care about draft stuff and everything like that. Guys yeah. like you are watching it because y'all know you're going to have a good draft pick. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> oh, yeah. I've been doing my scouting. and I'm, I'm Every different. crappy team except the Philadelphia 76ers fans. Are watching this, looking at guy. Philadelphia 76ers fans are waiting for somebody to get hurt in the tournament because that's who their team is probably going to pick. Mm-hmm. I'm keeping my since eye. they always draft hurt people. Yeah, definitely. I know y'all heard me mention Andrew Russell, but Car Towns another guy I'm keeping my eye on as well. You should just say Kentucky. All of Kentucky. Well, no, 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 no. There's there's a couple more. The whole Kentucky team. I'm going to see what Tyrus Jones is going to do to the Duke point guard. Yep. Because he got hot near the end of the season, too. And Okafor. Too. So, Okafor, yeah. Okafor is definitely going to be a big one. Like I said, the whole Kentucky mm-hmm. team. Right. Uh, <laughs> according, to the, according to the experts, there's supposed to be nine draft picks, first rounders on the Kentucky team. <laughs> Which is ridiculous. So. Which makes you wonder, how does he get all of them to go to Kentucky? I'll tell you what. That's he, why I'd hate Kentucky. Honestly, though, I, I will give them props because of the Harrison Twins staying another year because they could have went to the draft. Oh, yeah, because they stayed into their sophomore season. Yeah. Good but for them staying. Still, but you know, on the. Staying until sophomore. But you, you know, you know, on the him, there is always. It's a, a surprise! It's a bunch, it's a bunch, yeah, so it's a bunch of one and done. So, Way yeah, to go for them staying. Yeah, I give them credit. They stood around. An and extra. They went undefeated. Now they have years. a shot to win the title, so. An extra one year. So that's why I give them props. I, I like the Harrison Twins. and there are going to be some decent prospects in the NBA, but one year. <laughs> I know. I know. You don't, you don't like that. One year. So. <laughs> he's what's wrong with college basketball. The one and done. To me, he's what's wrong with college basketball. I, I, you just, there's something fishy when all you do is sit there and go, I want. He, the, the thing is, people are like, okay, doing it in Kentucky is one. He done the same kind of junk at Memphis. Where he went, I want that five star, that five star, that five star, and they still went to Memphis. Memphis. Do you, they, everywhere he goes, all of a sudden these five star guys always want to go there. It, it, something just doesn't hit right with this guy. Some something just it's, it's fishy. It's like fishy. It, it's fishy. <laughs> Getting five star guys to go to Kentucky, that's one thing. But when they were going to Memphis. UMass. Yeah, yeah that, 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 was, that was one of those things. He got Derrick Rose to go to freaking... <laughs> he got Derrick Rose to go there, for God's sake. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's interesting. We'll, we'll have to see. But like I said, this... Back up the range trucks. <laughs> oh. oh, Lord. All right. 